Corey and the Rio to the story. 6 p.m. It's been 6 p.m. for like hours. <laughs> Already evening. 6 p.m. earlier. Uh, office is tense. Doctor said he's waiting deep in his that one that appears, but maybe under the medical center, the one that's blocked off the concrete. It does seem to me that they're an entirely independent building. There may well be a path from this building to into the basement there. Is there anywhere that you might have missed something? Gone somewhere. Oh, that's right. The library. The medical records. Taught in a gecky. You thought of something. Yeah, I need to go check. Sakuya. Oh, he hasn't spoken since what happened in the infirmary. I can't blame him for how he feels. It's better to leave him alone. Oh, wow, the, the other ending is so fucking long. There's a spirit fire here. I know. I'm worried about it too. Fading again. Where are you? Nageki, there you are. What is it? Found out a lot about the school and about you. I see. I suppose you know who I am then. Sort of, but there are things I need to ask you. That's why I'm here. The fire five years ago. Who is he talking to the fire five years ago? <laughs> and the dome today. How are they related? Neki, Neki <laughs> must know something about the secrets of school halls. You aren't really here anymore, are you? That might be so, or it might not. Perhaps. <laughs> I saw it in the school records. It says you died five years ago in an accident in the medical center. I became aware of that. I stopped my own clock here. That's why I can never leave. You stopped your... In other words, at the very least, I took my life through my own will. I am almost sure of that. So you didn't die in the accident. So he can't remember. So he died. I need a clue. There must be a basement under the medical center. I need to get in there. Oh, that's right. The encyclopedia. Encyclopedia. Go to the medical center, All right? We go. So she just said, um, "Look, you know how the encyclopedias here are out of order. There are two copies of volume line. No, volume six. The medical center has the same as." Yeah, but two, six, and nine are disorderly. Yeah. One of the copies of volume six there has a library sticker on it, so I must have taken it from this. Which is... Try reading this copy of volume nine. <laughs> Looking what was worth a thousand spoken words, I guess. Huh? Looks like just another book when it's closed, but it's a box. The files and documents. They're all from five years ago. They must have been. What does it say? That one. Let's see. Let's see. Carrier individuals as bioweapons. Fight humans. Same title as the file. And I never expected. Meaning the school has been used for bioweapons, like Resident Evil, for the last five years. New strains of influenza are isolated. New strain has been isolated from Shiro, lethal to humans, and has been named Karen virus. Karen virus. I would say Karen, but then it sounds like Karen. Uh, his return research is uh, medical. Humans I met, they're very sick. Are you remembering something? Yes, I think so. I think I was the one who brought that book here. The birds with me in the medical center often did secret things in the reference room. I wanted to tell someone, tell someone important what was happening in the center. Or was it my family? It must have been my family. That's right. I burned. I had to disappear. Why didn't I notice? Did I, did I your help to see? It's a lot of proofreading this audio, this visual novel. He paces nervously in circles, rambling on to himself. If you've realized something, it would help me to know what it is. I've remembered, remembered what happened here five years ago. A black 
black screen. I can't remember my parents' faces. I lived in an orphanage with other birds my age before, since before I could remember. I never thought much of it at the time, but apparently everybody there was a war orphan. I did not resent the humans who had started the war. I did not care. I thought that living with other chicks and no parents was as natural as could be. One day the endless routine was broken and some humans broke into the orphanage. They had guns and kept shouting, free humanity, free humanity. I think that's what they said. They barricaded themselves in our house and killed us one at a time. I was helpless. I could only hide in the corner and weep as my family was killed before my eyes. Fucking hell, why is this so dark? I don't know how much time had gone by since they came. When I looked around the silent room, they were all collapsed on the floor. Birds have come to save us. They had come and killed the evil humans. That is what I thought. But... You've been granted great power. You are one of the chosen few. That's the orphanage. Every bioweapon story has an orphanage at some point. Because it's just orphanage equals easy test subjects where the parents aren't going to ask questions because what parents? <laughs> and we lived in an apartment. It happens in RE2 as well. I was weak and I couldn't go to school. It's a little different, but you know. Better burden. And I received the invitation. Special treatment. Okay. Ooh. You know a brother left behind. If I continue to live with him, I would only hold him down. He was happy to hear that I would have a chance to improve my physical condition. I enrolled. I often stayed in my room. I had no friends. I was not unhappy. Nurses and faculty were very kind. My first summer vacation, the doctor made a proposal to me. Do you like to undergo intensive treatment? You will have to stay inside for some time, but by the end of the summer, you should be as healthy as any other bird. Long summer in the underground facility, first routine daily exam, then medications. Why do they have such a Tron fucking underground facility? Oh, experiments. Experiments to kill humans. A human would be brought to me, they would struggle and gasp, and then with the last painful sigh, they would stop moving. I knew why I was brought here. Living in my body was a virus deadly to humans in a matter of minutes. That's what happened. My parents, whose faces I never knew, were killed by humans. Everyone else in the orphanage was killed by humans. And in return, I killed another human with each experiment. Simply by standing in the same room as me, by breathing the same air as me, they would collapse. I couldn't stand it. I had no reason not to hate them, but watching them die in front of me shaved away my, my heart little by little. Decided to end it all. I had only one wish. I wanted to disappear from the world without trace. The virus. The deadly guest that made its home in my body. I caught it. No doubt they were such a poor way to destroy humanity. That was the operation? Yes. That's why I burned it all. Should have been nothing left, but I am not here. Maybe, just maybe, there's still something left somewhere, and I can feel him close by my... Mr. Cora, are you going to the basement? I don't have a choice. Find a way out of here alive and find out why they killed Yoko. I need to ask the doctor, I see. So to be here, what else is inside? Oh. <sighs> Go for the medical center. at the gym to this desert, I believe it's the chemistry preparation room. You will be seeing me again, and... God. Mr. Saka as well. So creppy. <laughs> oh, God. We didn't end sixth class, we're just straight in on seventh. That's weird. I don't notice one. You don't notice anything though. Need to be a pretty big opening. To go and look. 7 p.m. Three hours until we're murdered. 
to be honest, <laughs> from what I've been hearing, it's not their fault. So. Yeah, come with us and do that to me. I take care of the other students. Don't worry, I'm not a massive Asian for nothing. Massive. Feeling like some of these references and jokes are just going over my head, you know? I'm going to come with you, Mr. Kawara. We never know. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I'm your homeroom teacher. Too much has happened. Celebration breakout, it is then. Not so fast. Oh, him again. Why are you here? He's coming to you, apparently. Kind of bland. Mm, yes, not a very friendly room, but not distasteful. Even spoils any good bit, but don't avoid it. I think many things say uh, like a hit door or I don't cover here very much, so hmm. You feel a draft, a draft. There are no windows in here, it must be coming from the basement. Dwang! Be sad at my crimson breast. I've been reading this as beast, haven't I, sometimes? We must be <laughs> The eulogy of doom. Gate of Erebus, guide me to the abyss. Come down here, no, you can't. Swing around. So it was behind the mirror all along. A lot more clever than he acts. Even if he does spout nonsense whenever he opens his beak. Let us proceed, Textoris Melodia Funus. A master of the abyss waits us below. I feel like this changes quite a few times because I've read it. It seems to be different each time. A long dark staircase winds downwards behind the mirror. How far does it go? Entrance to a subway tunnel. Let's go. It's the thing. Impressive. Now the homeroom teacher is going to pull a gun on us. <laughs> like, used for research to kill humans since the school was founded. I hear okay, none of us have knew. But like, the maths, the homeroom maths teacher has been here a long time. Don't you think he should know too? I don't see anybody. I wonder if it's closed now. If you know but I guess you think that's still in use. Fired somewhere down here five years ago, and so the whole thing just shut up. I suppose they froze whatever project they were working. Like, there's two or three endings here that we didn't get, and we're doing this weird long ass ending already. Which way do you think we should go to find the doctor? Midnight Hunter approaches. This is the best they could come up with, by the way. That scary thing that could chase you. Can you it so earlier? Don't get past him, we can't go on. Can't reach Wallenstein without defeating his dark servant. This trial cannot be avoided. But all we've ever managed to do is run away from this thing. How can we heal you here? Okay, anyway, by just running away, do we have some sort of weapon? Stun gun! Does it work on a scarecrow? It's a hound 
bread from the black void. We must purify it with holy water. That's a good idea. Did he even say there's a fire hose on the wall? If we time it right, we can electrocute him. <laughs> of course. Ready? Bang. Is he dead? Here you go, Hugh. Wang. Collapses with an unpleasant door creaking noise. Metal arm twitches, then it is still. We did it. Electricity is powerful. Thunderous voice of doom, judgment has come. Hugh O O R O. Goodbye, Mr. Scarecrow. Onwards. Disgraceful. What am I doing here? Oh, that hesitation. No, oh, I have not even the right to claim that restriction. You, you uh, foolish. You're not issue at all. I am a fool. I've been pampered my entire life while in my shadow he crawled along under the weight of a crime of which only he knew. I have been. Nothing but vain and selfish. Ah, oh, poor Sakuya. What should I do, Yuya? Wah! Sakuya is here. Eve, no one wanted you to come. Everyone is leaving. It is a grand, daring escape. Sakuya will find a Ryuta with Okasan. Away we go. Shut up, don't talk to me. Sakuya weeps. I do not, it's raining. It's, it's here indoors. This secure in pain, that is bad. I must do something about it. Okasan used healing touch. Confound you, must I repeat? Okasan knows. Okasan heard that you has gone somewhere far, far away. We will never see him again. So they told you. Do not worry, if we cannot meet him, we need only chase after him. I have no idea what you're on about. Death is not a good place to chase someone to. The older breeze has no concept of death. Chase Yuya into the grave. What kind of fool would... The earth is a ball, so if we run far enough, we will find him. Okusan is not a mongrel. So Kuya and Yuya and Okusan have... All have their own wonderful names. Name is more important than any breed. Is that your argument? That isn't even. You are yourself. Never let anyone tie you down. Okasan and friend are late. Kick reason to the curb. Time to blast out of this prison and find you here. Bringing me useless energy as he was. Am I the same, perhaps? We'll never see him again, no matter how far we run. But if he were here now, what would he do? What would he want me to do? Moping around here will get us anywhere. Two more hours. I will chase after him. I will never find him, but I will find myself. Let us go, Oko. There is nothing for us here. Sukuya so is best when he acts cool. After Rio to full speed ahead. Demon spores are thick in the air, as well as sentient sorcerer. <clears throat> I feel nervous relying on his bizarre intuition, but it's worked so far and we're in a hurry. Is he actually following the doctor by his scent, or was that just angelism? There's some very advanced equipment in here with the same... The dome. <laughs> same computer surface. There's some very... Uh, yeah, I read that. Still in use. Names left open. Student register. Your name's here too. For the tarantulas of imminent tragedy. They have notes on some of the students. And a query. He acts as a neurotransmitter when excited. He seems to produce intoxicating or hallucinogenic pheromones. Physical exertion acts as a stimulant. The pheromone. They keep spelling pheromone. 
That's not how you spell pheromone. It causes others to temporarily lose control of themselves, but it's useful as when they're not currently applicable to combat. I should not allow the sorcerer to make me his pawn. I am the crimson angel of Judeca and destined to wander the surf alone. Idiosyncrasy. Did you enroll Koala? How? I was invited to, I don't know why. Those is just a bunch of numbers I want to place to see like queries. Dwang. The black miasma of inevitable doom draws near. We're approaching the gate of the abyss. I feel this foul wind. Doctor's waiting for us. Could you wait a minute, Kawara? What is it, sir? We're almost done. We do. I want to ask you something first, Kawara. You lied, did not you? Huh? Lied? Me? I don't know why you would lie about that. Maybe you forgot. Even though it was just yesterday. After school. Like I said to Sakuya, I don't know anything about it. We have to ask the doctor. Hmm, I see. Let's go on then. Let's go uh, I've been trying to find the truth since this morning. Why would I lie? It's understood something, but that seems too simple. The area is dark and filthy. Where the fire was, I can feel like I can smell the suit just by looking at the walls. Suit, soot. There we go. <laughs> Room zone. See if I hit any experiments. I wonder what I would have done in this place. Would I have ended it all like him or? You're late. I grew tired of waiting. Dwang. It's Wallenstein. Doctor. It wasn't just Hyoku you killed the headmaster. Well, if it weren't for you, the boy who went outside wouldn't have been. Why are you doing this? Must I repeat myself? I told you before I merely disassembled Mr. Saka after the fact I did not kill him. I think I care. I fear that you need some assistance. I told you before, you already have everything you need to answer your question. Who killed her? You know, listen to the Dark Sorcerer's words. He will lay a spell on you. Perhaps the peanut gallery could keep his force to himself. <laughs> Boom. Iron Girl drops behind me like an evil wizard's portacolis. Cut off. What? We appear to be shut in. The dark spell. What are you doing? Nothing. I really have no business. I was waiting for you. Let us return to our conversation about the truth you seek. Doing cruel things, Doctor. You were involved in the medical center here too. Nothing you say will make me change my mind. How pugnacious of you. You are lacking in logic. What I may or may not have done has little to do with the truth of my words. I was employed at this facility from the beginning. No doubt you have already deduced that I was working on Operation Da Da Da. Adful. A plan was to wipe out humanity with the Karen virus. Precisely. Oh, it makes me so happy when students read ahead and come prepared for the lecture. You're very exemplary. Ho, ho, ho. This dream was isolated from the original host. Extremely powerful. The deadliest. Strains of such duality tend to be fragile themselves. This is no exception. Cannot last very long outside of a host body in order to deliver it to the enemy. We'd have to have had set. We would have had to send live carriers into their society and allow it to be spread by airborne infection. This proved troublesome. Ill equipped to establish itself in our bodies. The rare genetic condition where it result in a high, slightly compromised immune system. In his body alone, with Karen Eagle's safety reside, at last he refused to cooperate. He forced, you force him to kill human prisoners. If it weren't for experience, he would never have killed himself. Indeed. It did not occur to us that the test of the strange effects would harm his mental health. We expected he that he would be glad of the chance to avenge himself on humanity, but not so. 
Roger was but little cold after his death, thankfully, but loses his corpse in its entirety. I preserved his remains and kept them to this day. Wait for a new carrier to arrive. Sounds like this is a very labor intensive project. Isn't there a better way? Quite right. There was a reason for our men. It did not take me long to come up with a better plan. We need only compromise the subject's immune system and create compatibility like future days. Compromise the immune system, they die. Who do we know who's sick all the time? Uh, they died from some information, it would be all for more. Which is why I was very careful to approach I worked on the subject over time, so we weaken his immune system. My head hurts. Deep inside my brain. Are you okay? You've come this far. I'm sure you can answer this. What was it that you forgot? Everything is hazy. Oh, it was me. She can't breathe. This is bad. Hugh Hugh. Mm. No. They stole her brain. This is horrible. <laughs> Oh no, all arranged for you. Did 
demon spores are the thickest that way you will not be able to return. No. <laughs> oh dear. This looks bad. <laughs> Do you suppose it's poison gas? He's way too relaxed all the time. Mystic Phantom, the avatar of Miasma. Uh oh. Dead. She humans lie on a twisted part. They are here of his parents. She said that they were comedians between birds and humans. They're trying to say something to the humans barricaded on the other side of the wall, but they received only bullets. Death of her parents became a signal. The birds surrounding the little house across the wall as one. Well. I can hear gunfire from the side. I can hear humans and birds scream. We could do nothing but stand outside and watch. And then the stranger came and spoke to us. Is there anything you desire or grant any wish for you to tell me? I answered. I don't want these things to happen anymore. My wish is for a world where humans and birds no longer fight. Even if I die, I want there to be peace. And he who could continue. I agree. I would do anything to make you to the stranger nodded. Might not be possible right now, but one day I'll make it happen. When we were children, that's right. That was you. That was the other thing you'd forgotten. You remembered, I see. Eight years ago, a number of humans barricaded themselves in a building not far from where we lived. Hyuka's parents were shot by other humans, and many birds and humans were killed in the ensuing gunfight. And I met the doctor. I asked for order which humans and birds no longer fight. You and Mr. Cypher both said you would be glad to die to bring it about. So I'm carrying out your wish, just as you stated it. Even symbiotic risks relationships are not free from strife. In order to end the wars between humans and birds forever, one race would have to be completely destroyed, you see. Why did you choose me back then? Choose you? Why did I ask you what your wish was, you mean? There's not a coincidence. I am not so bored as to wander around granting wishes with you nearly. I too had made a promise to grant your wish. The preliminary test yesterday was a resounding success. We need only transfer the original lysosomes from future Shiro and Nageki to you and everything will be in place. I have granted your wish, though I did make you jump for a few hoops so you would remember your wish and understand my intentions. It would be the least you could do to at least acknowledge all I've done for you. I don't care. Yuka is gone. My wish has destroyed everything. Nothing good has ever happened. If this is what my life is to be like, I wish I'd never been born. I don't want to see anything anymore. Do not be anxious. You have no will to resist, so soon you will forget it all. Good night, Mr. Kawara. My crimson breast senses dang. Off the cough. Fucking will just make it worse. Seems to be leaking quite slowly. I'm glad we have a little more time, but it's getting hard to breathe. Coward, come out and fight. Coo, coo. Okasan shall not fail. Nasty protein supplements. The coming of the darkness. I can never speak. <laughs> Bioweapons. What? We can explain why we walk, assuming I don't run out of breath. <sighs> oh no! He's a kuma. <laughs> Miserable medical man, what have you done to him? Son of the Nobel. This one of your students.
Oh, ellipses. Oh, ho, ho, ba. Black Bean Donna. <laughs> Good work, Nanaki. Demon Red Eye speaks. Seal the disaster with the power of the chosen one. Hypnotizing him according to the documents about Lady Guria's ability to pull others into his own fantasies, break down their mental restraints. Talking to the doctor about it earlier too, I think it's real mental restraints. Like how a desperate man can be stronger than usual. Demon Red Eye heralds the awakening. By the power of the bloodstained hand, I seal the funeral soul. Okusan attack. Okusan cannot possibly lose in a fight with Ryota. There we go. This is madness. Don't think about consequences, just go along with it. Prepare yourselves. Get lotus fetters, what? Um. This matters, I'm gonna fuck it up. Coo or cuckoo? Coo. Wang's turn. Yuta was defeated by Mystery Fire, who I assume was a player character. Uh, I don't. Yuta is a vegetarian, shouldn't exert himself. Don't want to make anyone sad. Dream it to react if it's fascinating. It should not have been possible for some hours yet. Sees his half in the mind after all. Outlook is surprisingly important. I suppose this means my data is insufficient. This is the end. Be judged by the crimson breast. Not just his fault. Grant your wish, my reason is that it's not worth telling. Experiment has now come to an end. You must have had a reason you aren't the sort to go around talking to children without some purpose. Good morning.
Sorry to spring this on you, but could you take a look at these? This. The unusually old. Very strange. Mm. There are so many flashbacks and so much story here. So, low on cash. We learn the dark past. The only bird who I ever recognized, the only one I ever recognized as worthy of my respect was Riotus. Awesome. It's huge. Last moments were dreadfully anticlimactic. Fell ill of disease and demented. By the time we returned home, he was so messy at one could barely recognize him. Watch as many other birds succumbed to disease, so I was sure. Through dying this examination, we were by family. Promised to take time off the first time in years. If you ever run into my son, can you do something for him instead? A rather vague request. He's too nice. He'd never ask for something, even if he wanted it. I suspect he inherited the Tate trait from his father. Haha. <laughs> if you ever happen to meet him, you don't have to go out your way to find him or anything. So he read from that. From his, like, you vanished from my life before I ever told you my feelings, and I've chased your shadow since then. Is this what they mean by quitting while you're ahead, or was it just cowardice? No matter how I study life, it's past, its future, I'll never be able to surpass you, and that was my only goal. Son of Dr. Kawara. After genetic material, and our boys unrelated. But this boy, you yeah, way to get your shadow now. Seven plus and oh, <laughs> one AM, please. <laughs> it's been like hours. How is this still going? We've hit the climax, right? Oh my god. So So what he read from his father dying is I'm gonna go fuck up the sun now and ruin everything for everybody.
Carry out my father's will. You misunderstand. This is not just a partnering with kindness between colleagues. So this guy just clearly just has the genie problem where he just says, oh, you said it this way and it had this like kind of like, <laughs> yeah, what absurd contract was this? No prayer, power in prayer, I should never have met you. Ho, 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 ha, 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 does this mean you're sympathizing with me? How I have fallen. So this whole thing was, I clearly don't know how social interactions work, and I misread him saying, if you ever bump into my son, just help him out a little bit, as if he tells you a random wish after a massacre has happened in front of him where he badly words something, you should take that as your life's work to turn him into a bioweapon. Bit of a misunderstanding there. Yeah, depths of the abyss, gates of Tartarus, ten minutes till the humans coming from above. I see that you are alive. He's here. But it was built by MIBs. Rad. Everybody's panicking. Shot. She was shot. Dwan. Doctor. Doctor collapses. It was Kazuaki. Mr. Hanaki. Pistol is in his hand. He wobbles over to the doctor the same instead of the skate as always. And. Ah, uh, gah. This is the end of your research. Oh, the maths teacher got him. This doctor should have a fair trial once we. Fair trial. Hmm. What do you think, doctor? Ah, uh, well, I'm impressed at your acuity in attacking my uninjured left side. But of course. Thank you. Tell me, doctor. To bring him back. That's why I've done all this. Tell me. Where is Nageki? Oh, is that it? Quite forgotten. Mr. Fujishiro's brother was a quail. Oh. Nageki was his brother, so he shot him. Nageki, are you by yourself here again? Playing the part with everyone else. I'm fine. I would get tired. Isn't talking to me a waste of time, Hattori? Been busy recently, have you not? Never sure I'm like, That's not something you need to worry about. We adults are working hard to make sure you don't have to worry. 
for a child too for Tori. We're only five years old. Or yeah. The only thing I should be working. There's so many flashbacks and so much character development. It's actually like a little exhausting. They just packed it all into this one storyline where everyone gets a piece. Too bad. The orphanage is named the same thing as the operation. It's all very like linked. Everything happened at this one place and then like it's a really obvious thing that would stay with you for the rest of your life but for plot reasons everyone conveniently forgot that their entire like this tragic event happened and everyone's fates converged here eight years ago. You know, Tosaka and Ryota were there, Nageki and uh, Kazuaki were there, Shu was there, and yeah, Katori was there. Arg and got shot apparently. Covered in blood and mobile. The humans, or what did we do? We had nothing. Our parents are not stolen by the humans. All we had were left for each other. They kept stealing from us. Why, why, why? Tori, Dwang, you were outside. Good. Get okay, here alive. Everyone else. Can see. In hiding. It's very anime, where it's just like, oh, conveniently, we all collectively had amnesia about this thing that would be really helpful for us all to remember. You were there too. I didn't notice this clear fucking anime character amidst the normal people. Another corpse has been shot. This will be our room from now on. It's too big for just the two of us. It's a little about me. Yes. What should I do? Maybe I can do to help. Just have to be happy and well. Don't push yourself. Ah, oh, this is going on for so long. Holy shit. It's been like three hours. I'm going to have to cut this up. Three or four hours. And worse and worse. To watch. You get a doctor and they get, I'm fine, I'm fine. Wait, you still have a few, don't worry about the dishes, I'll take care of I'm fine, don't. You just say how you feel that right after a bit or two. Okay. How about this? From now on, I'm fine isn't allowed. Go to bed now. Take you to the doctor. It's like the whole, like... You know, sometimes it's like covering the same thing again repeatedly and you're a bit like, do I really need to know this much about Nageki's immune system? It has got to the point where it's like, I know. And they're really going on and on about it. And it's like, 
So where did Hattori go? Told to me they all said the same thing, can't help him, so I'm please save Nageki, anyone, I'll do anything. Someone help us. Chu tries to help them, he gets shot. I don't know. A letter arrived, it's from, yeah. No, I didn't really need to be spoon-fed that. It's like, I know because of what happened. I don't know if it's a Tory character, but they've kind of, like, you know... They kind of said it from his perspective and said he had a brother and then he left him. And he died. It doesn't sound suspicious. I was worried. Snuck into the center and it's like he's all right. Now that'd be like, Hitori died in the same fire and Nageki never found out. Cheese. Mm. You're losing hold of your sanity. I'm serious, I've been waiting for this from the beginning. He told me what you were doing to him here, but then you closed the facility. I've been waiting for this ether, waiting for you to open this place again. Ever since I joined the faculty, he's still here, isn't he? Nageki. Just did some pieces of him left up to the fire. They would have degraded me hours had I left them. If it pleases you to call these bits of meat, please assure Nageki I will not to stop you. 
before you can transfer to Mr. Koara's body. If I just, yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. You tell me, where's Nageki? I have to take him home now. I think you mean what was left after the fire then? It is Mr. Koara's liver. Cells from his body that contain the coronavirus are now inside of Is that it? I see you. Thank you. I'm just a little longer. I need to ask. It's all going crazy. Points are gonna secure you. Can you get out of the way? It's too noisy in here. Come on, Cora, let's get to that room. Lock themselves in. He said he's in the Where is the liver I wanted you here, Kawara? I think you would not have wanted this. Body feels weak. I think I must have put too much into the fight earlier. <laughs> oh, Kazuaki. It's not very good for him either. Nageki, 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 Nageki. Ah. Stop it, Tori. Now if you stuck deep into the wand, I can hear Nageki's voice, but I can't see him. The voice is coming from inside me. Mr. Cora, let me use your body for a bit. Okay. <laughs> like I have a choice. Can you hear me, Hitori? Of course. That would be every night. That was not me. I never told you to do that. But why ask you to do Hattori the second thing? Let's go home. Listen, Hattori, I'm no longer here. I can no longer go home with you. I said that. It wasn't him. I'll take care of him in a minute. Don't worry, Hattori. I never asked for you to come to me. I never asked for you to exact revenge. Who was it? Nikki. It was Nageki. I died because of you. You abandoned me here. I never wanted to come here. It was you who killed me. You killed me. You killed me. You killed me. <laughs> I will not forgive Hitori. I'm sorry, Nageki. But I know that no apology works. So, what? There is a shadow in Hitori's heart. His own shadow pretending to be mine. Come for me, Hitori. I'm here. I know, I know. I don't want to be alone. I don't want you to be alone. You will never forget me. You will live with me. You will live with your sin forever. That's what you want, isn't it? You want to carry this pain. I will negate you. I won't ask for forgiveness. I won't. He's crying. Touched by his own shadow. I'm sorry, Nageki. I'm sorry. Hitori, I don't want you to be in pain. He's trying to destroy his feelings of guilt. He wants to be saved. If you're here, his pain will go away. Help me save him. Yes. Like, this, this, it's just been going. <laughs> this is nuts. Tori. Watch if I am here in this place. It was terrible. Yes, any of us should die in pain. All of them should die. As long as they live, my pain will never disappear. Mr. Nanaki. Revenge will solve nothing. Both lost the most important which is strife. You should know best of all the people that revenge helps no one, it brings no happiness or pain. If I hadn't been here, Nageki would never have died. I was never there when he beat me. I'm sorry, Nageki. If I had been better, this would never have happened. Everything would have been fine if you'd never met me. If I hadn't been there, you never would have felt pain. So why? Me, 
Irony, my voice is tori. I tell you how to praise the way I was out here. Again, it's a question. Blame yourself no more. Please, Hattori, listen to me. The voice you hear is that you have been hunting yourself all this time. Stop blaming yourself. I don't want to see you. You asked me for two things, Nageki. First was come save. So I. To be Hattori. Yeah, my body disappeared. As long as I live, as long as my virus, I will try to use the virus. The virus must disappear in my body. It will bring only sadness. You asked for one other thing, you asked me to take Dr. Issa on all the food. Yes. Two brown, this wish I need to be Tori. My second wish was. That was not my wish. Remember my final wish. Not about whether you're doing anything or not, you're part of the family. That doesn't help with my body like this. I can't work or go to school. That's just happens. thinking too hard. Kind of weird they scrolled it that far. You could have just stopped at the top of the screen. It looks weird now that you're cutting it off mid. I hope we can stay with everyone like this forever. Yes. Yes. My second wish was live, Tori, live and be happy. So um, the theme I'm getting here is everyone conveniently misunderstanding and forgetting people's wishes were I just wish everybody was happy and everything was fine and people going, say no more, creating bioweapons <laughs> that will murder billions and horrible conflict and murder for no reason. Look at me, Hitori. I want you to live. Bad dealing with grief as well, major theme. You don't have to feel guilty for me. I can't tell you why I was doing it. First, I fought my rights. Have to move on. We'll meet again somewhere sometime. Mr. Kawara, thank you. Are you unhurt? Yes. Indeed. This is long. Okay, he was kept frozen. Indeed, he was. saying come with us at once. I see Kawara. Thought you would say that. Any humans you encounter will suffer a painful death. What? Is your plan along, you conniving physician? Surely there is a way to remove this virus. Possible with the current medical technology.
don't know if that's how viruses work. Madness, lunacy. Same goes for Mr. Sarkis' brain. Served inside a glass, but rather just barely. Current technology, anyway. Shirogani, let's go outside. You mean to leave Kawara here? How does your selfish nature run? We'll come back for him. It's possible now, but one day we may be able to remove the virus from his body. I think that he would say the same. Music box sounds to make you feel sad. <laughs> I think perhaps you would do well to respect Mr. Kawara's faults in the matter. As if this one day is brought into our lifetime. I just want to rest for a little while. I'm worried about mother. Do you tell her I'll be back one day? I'll come back for you. So promise me. Promise me that you're never supposed to be alive. Right? I promise. Not sure what happened today here, Greg. It's me with Valley going to recap my review, so I'm half sick from being stuck out here and not even know what's going on. You can see bits and pieces of the story. Time for it. Going to miss eating udon, but having you here makes things a little better, right? Where do I start? Everything that's happened, what's happening now, and everything that might happen one day. Plenty of time to talk about it all. Everything that's how cryostasis works. <laughs> Slow roll. So that's part one of the secret mega ending. It's half one. <laughs> oh, look at this bitmap credits. Oh, no. So yeah, that's, it's very anime, everyone gets a good quick flashback in explaining their tragic past, we all sit there and go, oh no, that's horrible, and all of this gruesome murder's happening because people can't, people clearly have some sort of like psychopathy where they read Hey, help out my kid, man. And the kid says, I just don't want people to be hurting anymore. And they go, cool, murdering millions it is. And you're like, this is such an anime staple where it's like, do you guys just, like, do the people in this anime just not understand basic humanity? Look, if ever. It's like, that's... Not how things work. So we got more things. Things have happened. Let's go. Spanish influence, the Spanish flu. Uh, this reminds me, I need to read up on dengue fever. It's dengue fever season, and in Asia, that's actually like still a major thing. But still a thing. Don't know how major. Uh, don't want to get it though. Um. <laughs> Yeah, this the heartful house, the hat of full house. Oh yeah. So I feel like I did this out of uh out of order as well. Because um Yeah, we didn't complete the uh, RPG birds thing. We didn't complete shoes ending. Still, it's about the sixth attempt we've made at this. Um, and it just feels like it bugged out and it's supposed to, like a lot of people said this on the community hub on Steam, that you're not supposed to be able to get that ending until you've at least done every uh, every ending for every character, every bird character, and at least attempted the path, or at least completed a pathway with them, not got the true ending for everybody. 
to get the other section of that ending, we have to, so, you know, Okasan has two endings and Sukuya has two endings and like, uh, I think that's, yeah, and Shu has two endings and we haven't even got one of them. You've got to get all of them. And then we get the other part of that ending, which to be honest, kind of made me sad because the player character gets fucking murdered within the first five seconds in a gruesome way. And it's just kind of left and it's like, oh, well, that, that's that. And it's like, well, you know, even if they get like a nice ending at the end, it's going to be some creepy bullshit where it's like, her brain's in a jar in an android and now they'll live together forever in their special world. And it's like, that's, that's still fucking weird. Why is everything gotta be murder 